Normally, my job isn't that hard, but today it's literally rocket science. Welcome to Inside OSU. So the whole point is to get momentum produced out the back. And how do we do that? In 1995, I graduated from the Air Force Academy and then entered active duty service. Uh, I retired from uh, the Air Force in 2016 after having served as an aerospace engineer and uh, had worked on jet engines and rockets. How did you get into teaching mechanical engineering and aerospace engineering? Since I graduated in 1995, I knew right away that I wanted to get back into teaching. It was something I enjoyed interacting with others to share the knowledge that I had. and when I had accumulated enough experiences in the Air Force, I was sort of invited to go back and teach. What inspired me to come back to the classroom was to bring my practical knowledge combined with my book smarts uh, to, to be able to relate to students and to prepare them uh, to enter into the workforce with, with relevant knowledge, not just, not just uh, academic smarts. You're talking about real life experience. What real life experience do you have working with rockets? Because most people, when they hear military, they don't think engineering. I have a saying with my students that this is gonna be a journey together of scholarship and discovery. So that I intentionally pick out material and subject matter and, and things to research that I don't know the answer to. So we're learning together. And my experiences in the Air Force to help me prepare for that, uh, I spent three years doing intelligence analysis. Uh, won't say much more than that. But then I did three years of maintenance engineering. So at Tinker Air Force Base, just down the road, spent three years there trying to develop and call out repairs for engines. And then went off to Tennessee at Arnold Air Force Base where we qualified engines for testing. The first F-35 engine that was qualified for flight testing came through our jet engine test stands out there. I had to learn how to set up a test how to reduce data from that uh, in a real world setting. And then I bring those experiences into the classroom. What is the mission, if you will, of your teaching? My mission is to prepare students. Really, that's what it comes down to in the end. And what I love most is to hear back from the students after they've graduated and see how I did in preparing students for the workforce. That workforce for me is gonna be students going into industry, into government, um, NASA, uh, Air Force. Some of the students in my classroom are actually ROTC, so they're gonna follow a very similar uh, career path that I took. Why is it important for your students to be very involved in the research process? It's sort of chicken and egg in my mind. Is it the research that comes first and then comes the learning? Or can I teach them in the classroom, give them the learning they need, and then bring them into the lab and have them be effective in the lab? And in actuality, both work. It can start with research and then come into the classroom, or in some cases, I'll connect with a student in the classroom and then bring them into the lab and in their uh, senior year when they do a design project, uh, they're using the information that they got, the knowledge they got from my class, and they're using that to design an actual product. Then that mechanical power is putting that shaft power into the propeller, which is giving us propulsive power.